Yo, what's shaking YouTube? Piper Downs, back at you. Uh, just out front here of the house. About to light up. About to light up some full Virginia flake. And uh, I did the, uh, the old Bolden stuff action here. And I was just wondering if, you know, I'm sure everybody, most guys are like me, you know, and just want the folding stuff to work, you know, because it really is a simple, or, you know, it's just easy, you know, just to stuff a flake in. But, I, you know, like last night, man, that was such a good experience to get that brown flake in there like that. Man, you just get these, you just get all, you know, I feel like you get something different out of a fold and stuff. But <clears throat> anyway, that's not really what I even really want to talk about, but it is a good topic to talk about, um, you know, for pipe smokers. I mean, it really is, you know, that's probably how to pack a pipe is probably the if to the key to you know if you can pack a good pipe you know everything else is downhill you know that is the, in my opinion that is the hardest part of pipe smoking uh, it's not cadence and things like that it's getting the pe right pack so you know that's why folding stuff is quite important if you ask me sometimes I can't get these damn matches to strike. Folding stuff has been working good. I'm quite impressed. But anyway, uh, I ordered some tins <clears throat> from this company called Payless Cigars. Um, got ordered some tins from them, and uh, just came in the mail yesterday. I actually bought some Balkan Sobrani, but. They gifted me a free tin of Cornell and Deal's Bijou. And that's a part of their seller series. Um, it says, you know, they, they recommend that you seller it for 10 to 15 years before you smoke it. It says, you know, we'll be at its best in 10 to 15 years. Says that right on the tin. And uh, I was just thinking how badass that is. You know, that they hooked me up with a free tin. And then I, I almost did another order. They were going to do the same thing. They were going to give me like some Captain Black Gold in a tin. But uh, I didn't end up placing the order but it was in the cart. But anyway, that Cornell and Deal Bijou, and you know, I was thinking, that is a legit gift. Um, a Cornell and Deal blend? I mean, you know, that wasn't a pouch blend. It was in a legit Cornell and Deal tin, you know? So to me, that was quite the hookup, man. That's my first Cornell and Deal uh, tin I've ever gotten. And lo and behold, I didn't even buy it. I mean, I'm, I, I placed an order for, for C&D the other day. So I'll be getting that in this week, but this beat them to the punch, you know? That's my first tin. I haven't opened it, obviously, and actually, um, it seems kind of bulged on the top and bottom. I didn't see a date on the tin, but it looked like maybe it had been in there for a little while. My little kitty, he's hanging out with me out front. But anyway, also,
Another thing that was in the box. And these I've never gotten. I've never seen them ever. And they're, they were free. Cedar matches. Cedar matches, guys, okay? And uh, that's the company's logo, Payless. You know, there's their, there's their website domain name. And uh, they are a tad expensive, but they did throw in the free 10 of something that I actually, you know, is, I'm glad I got it. But anyway, here are, here's a cedar match. Really long. Show you the difference. One match versus the other. I mean, it's much bigger. Mm. They smell good too. And I don't know if they're untreated or not, but I would imagine they are untreated because cedar actually burns really well. Oh yeah. Big time cedar. And you know, this stuff is actually, uh, these, you can't really find these on the internet, I've found, uh, that they're just not available. And I went on this Pay Less Cigars website, seeing if they sold them. Because I was going to stock up. I was just going to say, you know, buy about 100 of them, you know, at these boxes. And, or, you know, rather than using Strike Anywhere matches, kitchen matches that are treated with whatever. Um, I don't know what exactly they're treated with, but they are treated with stuff. And, uh, I don't know, I just don't necessarily trust them. Whereas, ooh, these are made in India. At least these are made in the USA. These are India. But anyway, you know, and since I, because I've always heard cedar is the way to go. And, uh, I, um, I went, uh, on the internet and tried to look and see if I could get, you know, some of them just nowhere to be found. Well, I did find cedar spills. Which those of you that don't know what cedar spills are, there's thin slivers of cedar, like paper thin. And some of them they shape like a cutlass sword or a scimitar. You know, like a, an Ara Arabic sword or a, a pirate sword, one or the other. You know, they kind of look similar. And um, they're actually really cool looking. And then they have other ones that aren't sword shaped. They're just, or they're the same shape, but they're not exact. You know, they don't look like a, a real sword like the ones I'm talking about. But they're like, I want to say like 15 bucks for a pack of 20 or something. Some ridiculous price that's just absolute robbery. Uh, I mean, robbery, truly. But anyway, and I was thinking, since we just had this hurricane, there's a cedar tree that came down the, around the corner, and they, a bunch, or no, a big limb, and they stacked all the uh, logs out by the road. I'm thinking about snagging those logs. And I'm not much of a woodworker, but I would like to maybe peel splinters or something off of it and use that as, um, as pipe lighting, you know, or to light pipes. But, you know, at the same time, though, I did all this, did all this research looking for cedar stuff and or cedar spills or cedar matches. Couldn't find it, and I just settled on getting some of that hemp wick. I used to have a big old ball of it. I had a roll, and uh, I lost it. I used like half of it and then lost the rest. But um, you know, it's really nice. I, you know, I I go through lighters like nobody's business. It's just not even funny. I mean, I. I I just burn through lighters, you know, and it really sucks. And uh, so I'm hoping that this hemp wick, I bought the big old roll that's like 200 feet, or a big old ball. And supposedly that stuff is supposed to, um, it's supposed to be, you know, it's obviously it's hemp, it's natural, they use beeswax. I don't think they bleach the hemp either.
But uh, I bought that in a choker poker, and hopefully that will cut down on my lighter. Uh, you know how, how quickly I run through lighters. And also, the flame is much smaller. You know, actually, I've got a pretty funny story regarding the uh, hemp wick. <clears throat> Used to live in a double wide trailer with a buddy of mine. Stayed there for one summer. Back then, I smoked, uh, I smoked pipes. I smoked, you know, a bunch of different stuff. So I had hemp wick. I would sit in my room and just chill out and smoke. And I had some hemp wick, uh, I had the ball of the hemp wick. And I, I used to do a moving service, so I had a really nice bed that I had gotten. Um, this, this college student, she was moving, leaving town, and she couldn't take the bed, it was brand new. And uh, I still have that bed too, it's a queen. But anyway, it's a Serta too. But anyway, um, I had a nightstand next to my my bed and I'd keep the hemp wick sitting there the whole ball I'd just keep it there with some unwound so it, I could keep it lit well I remember I don't know what the hell I was doing but I quit paying attention to the hemp wick and somehow you know the hemp wick I would keep it like kind of up you know erect because it's got beeswax Somehow it worked its way down, and when it goes down, the flame climbs up. So somehow it worked its way down in between my nightstand and my bed. All of a sudden, I don't know what the fuck was going on, there's smoke or some shit, and I look down and the whole side of my bed is on fire. <laughs> the whole side of the bed next to me is on fire. This damn hemp wick, <laughs> the flame flew up the hemp wick. It just lit the side of my bed up, man. It was just, I felt like a total moron, man. It was just, in retrospect, it, it really, it was just funny as all hell that I did them some dumb shit like that. I mean, I still have the bed. The nice thing about it, it burned the sheets, but the side where, where it happened, the sheet covers it because it's on the side. It's not where you sleep. It's on the side panel and the sheet covers it, so really it's not all that bad aesthetically, but man, it's got these two huge black black holes in the side, huge like that. <laughs> oh man, that was crazy. Jeez, you know, and I quit messing, you know, I, I, I realized that, you know, this could burn my fucking house down, you know what I mean, if, uh, if I'm not careful. So I think I quit using it or something. I, 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 I realized that, you know, I'm just gonna pony up and pay for the lighter. <laughs> You know, and uh, it just, it wasn't good. You know, it wasn't good. And anyway, uh, you know, that's why I got the choker poker, though. I'm going to keep that on the choker poker. And really what you're supposed to do, you're not supposed to light it while it's still on the spool. You're supposed to cut how much you want off and light that. Because eventually it'll just go out, you know, whereas if you just light it and keep it on the spool, you know, you, your house going to burn down if you don't, if you don't, you know, if you, if you, if you lose uh, track of it or if you quit paying attention to it. Yeah, but it's good stuff, though. It'll save you some money. I got a, I got a whole ball of that stuff for like 12 bucks or it was 12 or seven bucks, man. It wasn't much at all. It was cheap. And I had like a $30 gift card from a an item I had to return to Amazon. Yeah, it's good stuff. Man, you know, I must say, folding stuff is where it's at, man. If you can get the pack right, mm. Which is so good. But anyway, looking forward to seeing you guys' VRs. Looking forward to seeing the expression on your faces when you win and receive your package as well. But anyway, guys, I've been rambling. 
already for quite some time, so I'm going to go ahead and let you all go. Piper Down's over and out.